some say it's impossible, a bridge that defies earthquakes, violent winds, and the sea itself. But Italy's engineers are determined to prove otherwise. At nearly three and a half kilometers long, the bridge across the Strait of Messina would become the longest suspension bridge in the world. Stretching between the island of Sicily and mainland Italy, it's an engineering dream that has hovered on the edge of reality for decades, an idea so bold it borders on impossible. But today, Italy says it's finally happening. Yet behind this revival lies a question. What makes this time different from all the failed attempts before? The Messina Bridge will stand as a single-span suspension bridge, 3,666 meters in length, carrying six traffic lanes and two railway tracks, suspended high above one of the most unpredictable bodies of water in Europe. The Strait of Messina is just three kilometers wide at its narrowest point, but it's notorious for fierce winds, powerful currents, and seismic instability. It sits right on an active fault line. Building a bridge here is not just difficult, it's dangerous. And yet, that danger is exactly what has fascinated Italian engineers for generations. For over a century, this bridge has been proposed, studied, and shelved a recurring symbol of Italy's struggle between ambition and bureaucracy. But in 2025, after years of political debate, the project has been officially revived. Italy's government has approved plans uh, to construct a bridge linking the island of Sicily to the mainland. Designs have been updated, new technology has been introduced, and construction is finally being prepared to begin. So what has changed to make the impossible suddenly seem within reach? This isn't just another infrastructure project. It's a declaration of human resolve against the limits of geography, an effort to unite two regions divided by sea, current, and history. At its core, the Messina Bridge is designed as a single-span suspension bridge, no supporting pillars in the water. The main span, stretching nearly 3.3 kilometers, would surpass Japan's Akashi Kaikyo Bridge by more than 60%. Each tower will rise approximately 399 meters high, taller than most skyscrapers in Europe. Together, they'll hold up a deck weighing nearly 60,000 tons, suspended by steel cables as thick as subway tunnels. But how can a bridge of this scale survive the violent forces of nature that dominate the Strait of Messina? Each of the bridge's two main cables will contain more than 44,000 individual steel wires, precisely wound and tensioned to carry the combined weight of highway traffic and high-speed trains. When finished, the bridge will handle 6,000 vehicles and 200 trains every day, linking Sicily's economy directly to mainland Italy for the first time in history. But building here means working above one of the most volatile fault lines in Europe. The Strait of Messina sits between two shifting tectonic plates, a region that has seen some of the worst earthquakes in European history. The most catastrophic struck in 1908, leveling the cities of Messina and Reggio Calabria, killing over 80,000 people. So how do you build a bridge where the earth itself is constantly moving? To withstand those forces, engineers have designed flexible foundations and seismic dampers that let the bridge move rather than fight against the ground. In the event of a major earthquake, the bridge could sway up to a full meter horizontally and remain intact. The secret to survival lies in flexibility, an approach that turns motion into safety. And even when the ground is still, the air above is not. The Strait of Messina acts like a natural wind tunnel, amplifying gusts that can exceed 120 kilometers per hour. Engineers have countered this with a streamlined perforated steel deck capable of letting air pass through while keeping the bridge stable. But even with these innovations, could nature still find a way to challenge the design? Italy's leading construction consortium, WeBuild, believes the answer is no. The company, responsible for mega-projects like the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and the new Genoa Bridge, argues that advances in modeling, materials, and seismic technology now make this bridge not only possible, but inevitable. When construction begins, it will be one of the most complex logistical feats ever attempted. Massive anchorage blocks, each the size of a football field, will be embedded deep into the rock on both shores. Tower cranes will rise nearly 400 meters into the sky, assembling steel pylons with millimeter precision as floating platforms position each 100-ton deck segment in place above the strait. It's an extraordinary challenge, but can Italy's construction industry deliver such precision on this scale? Every piece of steel, every cable reel, and every bolt will need to be shipped or trucked through narrow coastal corridors. Floating cranes will hoist deck panels like puzzle pieces, aligning them into a single continuous span of nearly four kilometers. The entire process could take years, 
and will require millions of man-hours of coordinated labor, and that coordination doesn't come cheap. The project's total cost is estimated at 14 billion euros, a figure that has haunted the Messina Bridge since the 1970s. Across decades of proposals, approvals, and cancellations, the project became a political football, loved by some, mocked by others. But after so many broken promises, why is Italy finally pushing ahead now? In 2024, the government led by Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney declared the Messina Bridge a strategic national priority. Environmental reviews were updated, contracts reissued, and financing mechanisms revived. For the first time in decades, the plan feels real. If it's completed, the bridge could redefine the map of southern Italy. It will connect the high-speed rail network from Milan to Palermo, cutting travel time to Rome by two hours and eliminating the costly and time-consuming ferry crossings that have long separated Sicily from the rest of the country. Could this bridge finally unite a nation divided by water and by history? For many Sicilians, it's a dream of connection and progress. But for critics, it's a gamble. Environmental groups warn that the strait's delicate ecosystem, home to migrating birds and deep sea life, could be disrupted. Others question whether the funds could be better spent improving roads, ports, and local rail networks instead of one enormous bridge. And so the debate continues. Visionary masterpiece or an overambitious risk? Supporters, however, see something deeper. They argue that Italy was built on daring ideas, from Roman aqueducts to Renaissance cathedrals, and that hesitation has never built anything great. The Messina Bridge, they say, will be proof that Italy can still dream big and build even bigger. When finished, the structure will endure forces of almost 500,000 kilonewtons on each cable, the combined weight of 50 Eiffel Towers. The cables will be anchored into reinforced concrete blocks buried deep in bedrock, designed to last more than a century. But what happens when engineering meets the limits of physics itself? To ensure longevity, the bridge will be equipped with an array of intelligent sensors, monitoring every vibration, temperature change, and stress variation in real time. Data will feed into an AI-driven maintenance system, predicting potential wear before it happens. This isn't just a bridge, it's a smart, self-monitoring structure built to adapt over time. The ambition goes beyond steel and software. The Messina Bridge is the physical expression of a dream older than modern Italy itself. The concept of linking Sicily to the mainland dates back to 251 BC, when Roman engineers imagined chains of boats bridging the sea. The idea survived through empires, revolutions, and modern politics, resurfacing again and again across centuries. After 2,000 years of dreaming, could this be the generation that finally makes it real? When the bridge finally opens, expected in the early 2030s, it will mark the end of an era of isolation and the beginning of a new age of connectivity. The view across the Strait of Messina will change forever. Two towers rising from opposite shores, cables stretched like silver veins across the horizon as trains glide silently between continents. It will stand not just as a marvel of engineering, but as a symbol of human persistence. Proof that even in the face of politics, earthquakes and time itself, some ideas are simply too powerful to die. And when that first train crosses the span, one question will echo across Italy. Was it worth the centuries it took to build? 